An even greater test, or so it appeared at the time, was the visit of reigning champions Arsenal. Certainly in the season's early throws, it was felt that anyone who beat the Gunners or finished above them wouldn't be far away from the championship or a place in Europe. But Arsenal clearly weren't the team of Scrooges that hardly gave anything away during 1991, and that's not taking anything away from Everton. It was a fine performance, and it could have been more. What a pity that Varzika looks like an international of genuine pedigree on only the odd occasion. Beardsley was once again the brains behind the operation, but pound for pound, no one punched his weight better than the diminutive Mark Ward. Once an Evertonian, always an Evertonian, might be Ward's motto. That really was a tremendous strike, but not the first time David Seaman has been caught out from that sort of range. Although, in fairness to England's number two, three, or is it four, the flight trajectory altered after the ball nicked off Everill's back. Defence was the foundation of Arsenal's 91 championship, but it didn't look anywhere near as solid until the last couple of months of the season. They got themselves in all of a tizzy here. Beardsley with that familiar little shimmy. To Cotty for 2-0. Everton were a mite fortunate to get the third simply because Mark Ward's free kick was deflected one way with Seaman going the other. But the goal of the match came from Arsenal. It takes a special kind of shot to beat Southall. All ends up, particularly from outside the penalty area. And Nigel Winterburn came up with just that after Perry Groves had done an overhead and Merson hadn't got on the end of the volley. <laughs> 